Hi everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Deborah and this is the edit by DH. Today I'm doing another collaboration with my fellow beauty content creator and friend Amra from Amra's Beauty Blog. I will obviously include all of her details below. We've teamed up on the new Pat McGrath limited edition legendary labs collection. God, that's a tongue twister. Pat McGrath previously released these eyeshadows and they were, I think, the Dark Star collection. And she had previously released a blue eyeshadow set, I guess, and then a bronzy shimmery set too. This was quite a few years back. My friend purchased the blue set and I purchased the safe bronze set. But I remember how pigmented the blue was. And that's something that Amra will be reviewing. So if you're interested in the blue eye set, I think it's the Dark Star 006 V2, then please go check out her video. What I'm reviewing is the Lust 004 V3. And it's basically a lip set, which includes a lipstick, glitter for the lips and a lip gloss. I got the shade Blood in, I think it's just called Blood 1. And Amra got the pink version in Rose Desire. So again, if you want to see the pink version, go check out Amra's video. There's certain things that you can expect to see on my channel in terms of new collections. However, I do this year want to be a little bit more responsible, try and use a lot more of what I have existing in my collection as opposed to just getting everything. So when I saw the limited edition collection in its entirety, it was obviously tempting to get everything, but this was the one that really drew me to it the most. So let's try it on. As you can see, it's unopened. A lot of Pat McGrath sets come like this. It's very fun. It's very quirky. It's very unique to Pat McGrath. So right off the bat, I can already see that there's sort of no opening for you to just tear it easily. So you do have to get a pair of scissors. So I would also just be careful how you open it because as you can see, there's lots of sequins. And like I said, this is quite unique to Pat McGrath. It's very you know fun and games until you have to clean it up yourself and it's all over your carpet. So just be careful of that. The reason why I like it though is because it feels like it's a gift. It's fun opening up these packages. So this is a lipstick. It comes in sort of like a twist up tube packaging, like so. Kind of reminds me of like the Laura Mercier type twist up lipsticks. And swatching the color on my hand, you can just see how rich that red is. It's got like a pink undertone to it, a pink base, but it's very deep red. And it's kind of a red that I think will suit again most people, if you like that statement red lip. Then you've got the glitter in a small pot. So this is to apply to the lips after you've applied the lipstick. And then the final step is the lip gloss. So I'm going to quickly lay down the base in the lipstick. So I'll just apply it straight from the tube at first to see how easy it is to apply. I do have a Pat McGrath lip pencil in Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil color bloodlust from a previous limited edition collection however it's a little bit lighter can you see it's a classic red versus the deeper red that i'm wearing now so i don't want to really dilute the shade so i'm going to go in with a thin lip brush So I've just laid down the base and now I'm going to go in with the glitter. I'm a bit nervous to be honest with you and perhaps white wasn't the best colour top to wear <laughs> for this but let's see. So it does come with a safety sticker. I'm just going to tip a little bit into the lid. I say little, a lot came out to be honest. And I probably will use the same brush. Let's see how it works. Now, before I apply the gloss, I just want to say that I am impressed at the little fallout there is on the like skin around my mouth. It doesn't feel very gritty, but obviously you can feel like stuff is on your lips and you wouldn't want this on your lips like if you were about to eat, for instance, because you would ingest some of it. It's very glamorous. It gives me casino vibes, you know, like Casino Royale. But I'm quite intrigued to see how the lip gloss would affect the whole formula and the finish. On the bottom lip, applying some of the glitter actually removed the lipstick underneath it just a little bit. It's not too noticeable, but 
that's obviously not helpful because you can't exactly go back in with the lipstick as it would then get messy with the glitter if that makes sense so the gloss is in this typical squeezy tube so i'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand never go in with it directly otherwise again it will get very messy and again i'm just going to go in with the same brush and just dab it on and see what happens trying to apply a thin layer of lip gloss onto your lips is just what it's going to do is just make it really gloopy and make it drag and it's not going to give the the high shine effect so you really ideally need a lot of product apply a thick layer of gloss and just pat it on the lips thick don't be um stingy with it basically otherwise it will impact the the base underneath so this is the final look obviously it's so so stunning with the gloss on as well it's very very nice for photo shoots or like a special event like i said where you only need it on for like an hour or two most but it's really impractical in terms of the gloss even talking right now i feel a bit like oh what if i get it on my teeth depending on if you have fine lines around the mouth which i do what happens with the red lip is it can bleed into the fine lines and i do find that with certain liquidy type lipsticks obviously putting a gloss on top could perhaps accelerate that bleeding into the fine lines if that makes sense so again that's another reason why you wouldn't necessarily wear it as a a everyday lip talking about the individual products i mean the color is so gorgeous it's a classic deep red that anyone can really wear i just perhaps wasn't so blown away by the tube part i think pat is renowned for her lips lip products like i'm obsessed with her matte trance her new liquid lust which i've reviewed separately and i'll add all those links below um, and i think they're beautiful formulas and it's so easy to apply i found this really tricky actually considering it's a thin tube i didn't find it easy to apply it was very matte i've struggled with trying to define my lips with this product alone so that's why i had to go in with a brush otherwise definitely recommend a lip pencil the glitter itself is a gorgeous color and it works but it wasn't that power effect that i thought i would get from it and then the gloss is just a clear gloss there's nothing special about it however the beauty of getting something like this where you might think it's not really practical it's not for me is that you get three in one so really you could use this on its own absolutely you could use it on its own as a matte lipstick you can absolutely use this on its own as a clear lip gloss and you know clear lip glosses are so handy they go with every single lip color you can wear it on its own as well they work as individual products and i think that's the selling point the set itself costs 25 pounds so actually the price is really really good because you often get lipsticks on its own for 25 pounds but here you're getting glitter lipstick and a gloss for 25 pounds and especially for pat mcgrath standards that's quite cheap because her products aren't they're not the most expensive but you know they aren't cheap let's be frank just to be clear i did say it earlier but it is limited edition so it's not around for long having looked at the final lip i can already see that what i predicted has, has started to happen so when i mentioned the bleeding you can see that it's starting to bleed into my fine lines and that's exactly what i thought would happen because of the formula and my experience of working with different formulas of makeup so what do you think of this product i mean i know it's not practical but what are your thoughts on it as you guys know i'm obsessed with pat mcgrath and if you are too there is a spring sale currently on her website so just to let you know if there's anything that you've had your eye on but perhaps wanted to just wait and see this sale is a perfect time I believe that all the limited editions that I've spoken about today, they're not on sale. Any limited edition normally isn't included in like a site-wide sale. I really hope that you enjoyed my video and collab today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Butterflies in my stomach, butterflies in my chest.